Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I got a new package in the mail. This should be the Trick or Treat Studios uh, 1970 uh, Michael Myers Boogeyman mask. Um, I was originally last year going to buy this mask, but um, I got the standard, the shape mask, and I uh, sold that mask. I just was not a fan of it. Um, the hair was pretty good, but um, everything else in the mask just I didn't really like. I didn't really like the, um, the overall shape of it, the eye holes. There wasn't enough paint on it. It was just really white. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it. So I went ahead and bought this one, which kind of looks like an H2 at the same time. I remember the Elrod came out a couple years ago. I just never bought that one because it was like never in stock. It was like the main one that everyone was always trying to get. It just was never in stock. And they stopped producing those ones, I believe, two years ago. And now uh, this one came out and they have the H4 poster mask, which is the hospital mask with better hair. The same hair here, the hand laid hair, which I believe is the same as the eight, uh, 2018 Myers mask, which I absolutely love that mask. Um, so yeah, uh, eBay started. Uh, this is from Collector's Row, which I believe I ordered the the shape uh, original seventy eight mask from, and uh, it was early on though. So eBay started packaging them in bags, which I got box last time which was kind of weird. Anyways, it was um, 53 plus tax, so it was like 58, it was around 60 bucks. Here it is inside the bag. Actually looks a lot better than the um, other one already, not even outside the bag. And here's the little collector's row thing. Let's take the mask out first, actually. Uh, where is the... There's just a little slip in here. Where'd it go? There was a slip that said collector's row somewhere. Yep, here it is. Right inside the mask. Um, collector's row. I didn't get a card last time. Um, this is in California. Unique frogs for the collector with distinctive taste. Um, that's pretty cool. And here's the actual mask itself. Yeah, it feels like it has the same hair as the 2018 mask. Um, a little bit of extra hair there. It has black on the eyes, which I'm pretty fond of. Um, I wonder how well this will actually fit me, because it looks a little bit smaller than the 78, and the 78 was huge. And a little bit too big. And I wasn't a fan of that. It's just too big. The hair's a little bit longer than I expected. But uh no biggie there. Actually not that bad. I don't think I'll trim it. But um kinda looks like an H2. I don't know why, but the shape, the actual like sculpt looks like an H2. And I actually kinda dig that. I'm really liking that. Um the hair's mad down. I kinda like that mad down look over the Captain Kirk look that they had in the first movie. So I kind of want Matt down to sort of have like horns, maybe make into an H2, that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, here's the tag. We all have been in this thing for three minutes. There's the tag, typical tag. The It's pretty much the same one, except this one on the back has the boogeyman on the bottom part instead of the shape, which is said for the last one. Um, and the 2018 one just says Michael Myers. For some reason, they don't say the shape. It's just Michael Myers. Um, and Art the Clown just said Art the Clown. Um, I, I kind of like that. It's sort of cool. Got a little extra bits of hair, of course, which I was expecting. You know, you're always going to get a little extra bits of hair falling out and stuff like that. But it is nice hair. I really like this hair. Let's try on the mask, actually, because I'm really curious to see how good it looks on me. A little bit baggy, but uh, really digging the fit.
I wonder what happens if I put like should I? I don't know. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting really big H2 vibes here. The only difference is that this one's not quite as uh, weathered up of a flesh tone as the second one, which I have the second mask. I just got to repaint it and shit like that because I really did a bad job repainting the last one. I had people, God, so many people being like, dude, it sucks. I'm just like, yeah, I know. But I tried. So I kind of want like Greek horns and stuff like that because this is really giving me the H2 vibes. H2 has really been being pushed this whole Halloween season recently. You got all the NECA stuff coming out. You got the t-shirts. I believe Walmart has a couple things that are like H2 related. Like see, doesn't that just look like H2? I don't know where it is. It just looks like H2. I'm really digging that. I think I'm just gonna brush the hair, put some water and just brush the hair because it's a little bit a little bit long but I'm pretty sure I'll just be able to take out majority of the loose hairs so let's put on the foam head I really want to see what it looks like with the foam head on by the way got a new base today I'm really excited for that oh I forgot to mention something um they have the little uh course the tag's gonna be in the way but um the little uh pin needle there but i thought it was textured it's just a little blob of fake blood so if you guys have problem with like uh molded on the uh, little pin needles that they usually put on there this one doesn't have it um yeah i really like this one this one's a little bit well actually a lot better than the original uh, just 78 Myers but I have to really redo the hair because this hair is just it's poofing up a little bit too much for my liking it's sticking out everywhere not a fan of that but it'll be an easy fix <coughs> it says that there's hand laid hair it, it is like the H18 with the hair which I really like the hair on the mask I've said that already in this video um but, uh, we just put it on. It says 2018, which I'm just assuming that they've just been working on this mask for that long. Even though the mask just came out last year. I really like how gray it looks. I'm just telling you guys, in person, this looks like an H. I, I would say it's an H2. A little bit too white for an H2. But, uh, what the fuck is going on? Excuse my language. Um, I'm really digging this hand laid hair. I uh, just gotta fix up the back and everything should be good. It's a little bit bunched up. A little bit of trimming should do job. See so, yeah, you guys. This is the uh, Halloween 1978 Boogeyman mask compared to the original 78 Myers mask. This is a lot better. A lot better fitting. A lot better looking. Uh, the latex feels a little bit thinner, which I prefer. Um, it's a little bit shinier. Um, and, well, not really that shiny, but it's just like, you know, it's shiny. Um, it really looks good. It plays the part of a Myers mask. It looks like the original Myers mask, and I'm not sure what else you would really want in a Michael Myers mask. This is the perfect Michael Myers mask for if you are a fan of the original look or just a classic Myers look, which I prefer. It is my favorite look is the H1, the H2. I consider them both to be the same since they are the same mask, just different weathering, natural weathering, mind you. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to be doing a um, Halloween movie ranking video later this month i figured doing uh ranking of different series of horror movies would be a pretty nice twist for this year and get some more content 
on my uh, YouTube channel because I barely post. I am very sorry for you guys that I barely post. But um, yeah, so here's the mask. I will get the hair ready for you guys. I'll show you guys a room tour and see what has changed in the past year. Not much has changed, unfortunately, but uh, I'll still take a tour. So thank you guys for watching this video. I've been blabbering on for about 10 minutes now. Um, gonna go fix his hair. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope this has been informative for you on this particular mask. See you guys in the next video. Bye.